This is the attention Do I got anybody? Say it. Gadget Gurus Network. What's up, guys? It's Jeff Freena from iPhone Docked and the Simulcast, and I'm finally going to unbox the new Apple TV. I pre ordered this guy about 10 minutes after the announcement at Apple's fall event. And it's now Monday, October 4th. I'm getting mine technically a week later than everybody else. I don't really understand how their pre-order process works, especially because I did pre-order it literally right after it became available. Um, I'm getting it a week later still. Hey, it happens. At least I have it, right? So let's go ahead and cut this guy open. I've been waiting for this for a while, so it's finally here. And it's a very, 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 very small box. Much smaller than I was expecting. I'm going to rename this thing the Hockey Puck. And let's go ahead and cut this plastic here. Now, actually, I'll show you the back of the box here real quick. Um, it's basically saying that you can, you know, rent instantly, watch your Netflix, play the music over the Wi-Fi, that sort of thing. Now, you probably know that iTunes and Apple now have a $0.99 cent rental for TV shows and $4.99 rental for movies, which is, you know, it's pretty good depending on how you look at it. If you're someone who wants to cut your cable and you're going to watch TV shows and you only watch maybe, you know, one or two series a year, good example, uh, when 24 was still on, that was really the only show I watched, 24 and Lost, let's say. So you can now buy every episode or rent every episode for $0.99, cents, which when you do the math out for 24 that's $24. And for Lost, you know, a little bit less than that. So if you're paying for cable, essentially just to get those two shows, you're saving yourself a boatload of money. You're now paying to watch both shows, pretty much a month's worth of your cable bill. So that's not bad there. This will use BG and N Wi-Fi, which is key. Let's go ahead and get this guy open. I'll actually zoom in here a little bit. And yes, it is very, very, very small. The original Apple TV is much, much bigger than this. So here's the Apple TV. Like I said, it looks like a hockey puck. Let's go ahead and put this aside real quick. And here's the typical remote, which I actually don't have one of these. I have the original white style that came with my first iMac. So this is the newer version. It is an aluminum remote. I will open this up. This, of course, follows the same theme as all their stuff as being aluminum. You have a quick menu, play button, as well as your D-pad. And that's where you'll put your battery in. Let's go ahead and put that aside. Now beneath here, we have a power cable, which is a flat, pre-rubberized version of a cable. Plugs right into a wall in the back of your Apple TV itself. There's no power brick, which is very nice. And then there's also going to be a setup guide as well as some stickers. So they do give you stickers, which is nice to keep that consistent there. And some more information about the Apple TV there. So I'm really not going to read the manual, to be very honest, because in reality, who reads the manual? Especially if you're a geek of some kind. So let's put this stuff aside. And let's get to the Apple TV here. So the bottom is actually rubberized. Or, yeah, it's like a rubber coating, I would say, actually, on, on some plastic. Of course, you have the Apple logo there. Now on the back, let's go ahead and pull this sticker off. That keeps it shiny. And hopefully you can see here, I'm going to zoom in because I want to keep near the light. We have the port for the power. We have your HDMI out or in, however way you look at it. Your optical audio. And then your Ethernet. Now you will have a micro USB port here. Now that's for service according to Apple. But... If you've been following the news, that's how you can actually jailbreak the device. So actually what I'm going to do now is get this guy set up on my entertainment stand, get it booted up, get it playing some music, some of the movies that I have on my MacBook Pro, and we'll be right back once I get that going. Very briefly, actually, before I do that, I want to give you a size comparison. So we have the Apple TV here. Now we'll slowly zoom out, and we'll actually put an iPhone directly next to it. So as you can see there, you can kind of do the math yourself. Here's the iPhone, here's the Apple TV. So I'll move this up a little bit. So it's tiny. Obviously, when we look at the thickness, it's a different story. But the Apple TV, nonetheless, is tiny. 
it does win. All right, and we're back, and this is the Apple TV setup on my home theater stand, on my TV stand here. Now, I took off my Xbox 360 HD DVD drive to make a room for the Apple TV, but I think I might bring it back and just put the Apple TV on top of it because it's definitely small and quaint looking compared to everything else as you see here. All right, now we're going through the setup very briefly. As you can see here, this is the main screen. And of course, we're doing English. Now I have my Apple TV hardwired just for the time being to see how the connection works that way. I'm going to say no. I always do with this sort of thing, especially, you know, with jailbreaking, whatever it may be. And boom, that was very fast. That was an easy setup. I want to make sure that my receiver has some volume here. That we do. And we're browsing through extremely quickly. We can go to podcasts here. And we'll search for the simulcast. As you see, it just popped up right there. And it's the very first one. And wow, that pulls it up very, very quickly, as you just saw. I'll press play here. Let's see how fast it actually loads this audio file. It's an hour, but this show's about an hour and 20 minutes long, so. And there we go. It's playing the intro music to our show. We can actually fast forward. It's pretty impressive right there, as you, as you can see. So this is actually playing the simulcast podcast right now, and it was that fast. Now, I would imagine I'm going to get this guy set up to my actual iTunes account so I can get things to both sync over as well as possibly auto-update from iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up, and I will give you a follow-up review. Ooh, there's the AirPlay right there. Soon enough. I'll give you a follow-up video showing you some of that functionality. So thanks for watching, everyone. Please give me a thumbs up on this video. And there's much more to come, so stay tuned.